Across the African continent, Zimbabwean troops and police on Tuesday tightened the coronavirus lockdown in the capital, Harare, blocking many cars and buses from entering the central business district as cases of infections increased. The main opposition movement for democratic change, the MDC, said President Emerson Nagwagwa's government was trying to suppress protests over a Western economy and to stop MBC supporters from gathering at the court, where the lawyer for its leader was due to appear after being arrested on Monday. Coronavirus infections have more than tripled to 203 in the last few days. President Nagwagwa had eased the lockdown since it was first imposed at the end of March. On Tuesday, however, police and soldiers turned away many commuters and cars, including those with work letters at checkpoints leading into town, except critical staff like health workers as well as state employees. Joining us from Zimbabwe is Columbus Mavunga, a journalist with VOA. Thank you, Columbus, for joining us on the news. Columbus, Thank you. Yes, I can hear you. What can you tell us about the situation right there in Zimbabwe? I think we today Tuesday was um, was a different day in, in the sense that there was uh, that there was a heavy army presence like like you said uh, we are we are being told is is the government trying to enforce the, the lockdown which was imposed late March but we are also hearing that they are trying to suppress any any likelihood or potential of the opposition coming into the streets to call for the government to release funds for those who are being affected by the lockdown, and also to protest against what they are saying, suppression of dissenting voices, including the arrest of uh, their top lawyer, who, who has been in custody over the last two days. What could have led to, to the deployment of more security personnel at this time? I, I think um, all along we, we thought the government was, had, had, had somehow uh, lagged on on enforcing the lockdown, which which was imposed in March, um, so th we thought that was the reason, the basic reason for for deploying the army. But we are also hearing now that they they thought that the opposition might uh, get into the streets to protest against what they are saying is um, is is a claim on them uh, being not allowed to demand the release of funds which are supposed to be the, for those who are suffering because of the, the lockdown and the general economic decline in, the, in Zimbabwe. What is the situation like presently in Harare, Zimbabwe? Is it that of calm and peace or that of apprehension? Um, my cousin, who is just about um, uh, five minutes' drive from where I am, says the, 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 the army, as we speak, is beating up people, anyone that they find they find in the streets, whether they have a reason to or no reason, they are just beating them up. So we are, we are expecting that overnight, I think people will be in trouble, especially in the townships. Now, what else do you want to tell us about the protest? I think we, the, it's, it's, um, it's a resumption of, of the, the it's, it's actually the, the, the boiling of Zimbabweans over the past few weeks to months because of the deteriorating economy, uh, which has been worsened by the lockdown, which has shut down some parts of the economy. So people are boiling up, the poverty levels are rising, and uh, the, the government's uh, boot on, on people, so to speak, is, is getting, uh, the grip is getting uh, pay, more painful, I would say. Columbus Mazunga, thank you for joining us on the news, and please stay safe out there. Thank you.